everyone, Kelly here, and today I wanted to share with you my TBR for the Middle Grade Magic Readathon, which is occurring from July 14th to the 24th. I am one of the co-hosts for this event, and I will link all the information, the announcements, and the other hosts down below. And today I just want to share with you the books I want to read. And it took a long time for me to narrow down my TBR because it's a 10-day readathon, so I can read more. And plus. I have so many middle grade books I really want to get to. So what I decided to do was that for each prompt I have both a physical book and an audio book because as you can tell I'm in a new location. I just moved into our new house and so I'm doing a lot of audio books right now while I unpack and things. So I'm optimistically trying to get to some books I own but at the same time probably will be falling back on audiobooks. So for each prompt I'm giving both options because if I don't have time to read the physical book I will go for an audiobook. So let's get started. There are five different prompts. So the first prompt is to find your favorite which is to just pick a middle grade book from your favorite genre. For me my favorite genre to read as middle grade books is fantasy. So the physical book I want to get to is Keeper of the Lost Cities by Shannon Messenger. This is the first in a series. I, I don't know how many books are in the series but there's quite a few and I don't, I don't know much about this other than that it seems like a really fun fantasy book. It's about a 12 year old girl named Sophie who has a special ability and I think she's finding out what makes like that there might be some special like world that she's a part of that she doesn't know about yet. So that's my physical book I want to read. This is a big one so we'll see if I can get to this. And then the audiobook I want to read for this one is The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien which I'm sure that you guys are all familiar with. I've actually never read any of the Lord of the Rings books and so I figure I'll start with The Hobbit which is middle grade and then hopefully move on to reading the actual books. I've seen the Lord of the Rings movies but I have not seen the Hobbit movies so figure I would read the book first. So the audiobook is only four hours long and it's like a full cast BBC recording so it sounds like fun. And then I also for this, this is the only one they also have a possible ebook because I really want to read this book and that is The House with Chicken Legs by Sophie Anderson. It just seems like such a cute book and I've heard it recommended by several people. Um, one of the ones is Charlie Brooke who has a channel and I'll link her down below and she just raves about it so I really want to read that one and it's about a little girl who lives in a house that has chicken legs and it travels around the world because her grandmother is the person that like brings the dead to the afterworld. So sounds like a really good book. The second prompt is Sugar and Spice which means to read a book with a more serious or important topic. So I have for my physical book I want to read Other Words for Home by Jasmine Warga and this is written in verse so you can see this should go by really fast and this is about a Syrian refugee and I think that they are coming to America. Yes they move Wow, they moved to Ohio and I just moved to Ohio so that's kind of fun. Um, so they moved to Ohio and her like getting used to being in America and dealing with leaving her home. So I'm that's the one I definitely will read. And then the audiobook that I might get to as well is The Mighty Heart of Sunny St. James by Ashley Herring Blake. And I actually just read another one of her middle grade books and really loved it. So I very much will pri prioritize this audiobook because I'm just excited. And this is about a young girl, I think she's 12, and she just got heart surgery. And so she's kind of like been sick a lot and is now having a new lease on life and so she decides she has all this plan for things to do one of those including to kiss a boy but then she meets a girl who makes her question whether she wants to be kissing boys or not so I'm very interested to be reading that because I read the other one I read was also an LGBTQ plus middle grade book that Ashley Heron Blake wrote and I forgot it off the top of my head right now the review will be coming soon and I really enjoyed that so I'm looking forward to reading another one of those. And then number three is Boosting Voices which is to read an own voices book which are books that where the author is from the same marginalized group as the character in the book. And so I want to read Esperanza Rising by Pam Munoz Ryan. One of the other hosts Kara from Wild Book Garden has been raving about this book for so long and I keep telling her I'm going to read it so this is the time I really want to read this book or something by this author because I have a couple of her other books and I have an audiobook later on in the list from her. So I want to read something from this author whether it's this one or the audiobook. And this is about a girl who 
grew up in Mexico and I think they were fairly well off in Mexico but then something happens and they have to move to California and when they move to California they end up having to work I think as migrant workers or in a farm on a farm and so um, her style of living living changes quite drastically and this is on voices I believe I read that that um, Pam um, wrote this as like this is based on her grandmother's life don't quote me on that but I think I saw that online when I was looking for own voices and then the audiobook I want to listen to I have two options because the one I really want to read I still am on hold and I'm like number four on the list and we still have a few days so I could get it because you never know because some people just get them and return them so hopefully I'll get to read Front Desk by Kelly Yang and this is a book about a girl who works with her family at a hotel but part of what they do I think is they give rooms to immigrants without telling the owner so there's kind of like some things about immigration and stuff like that in it and I think that her family herself have also immigrated from China and that it's own voices because I believe Kelly Yang was also a Chinese immigrant um, and so that's one I really want to read because I've heard rave reviews about that book and then if that audiobook does not come in on time I will read Where the Mountain Meets the Moon by Grace Lin and this is based off of Chinese fairy tales or folklore um, and it's I think it's like this girl her father tells her a lot of stories based on the folklore and her kind of wanting to go out and find somebody that is from this fairy tale and then number four is bending the rules because a lot of times publishers put books in the as middle grade when they don't necessarily need to be middle grade or books are targeted for adults or whatever like that but middle grade can still read them so it's the the fact that there's a lot of like blending in of different age classifications and for this one I'm going to read The Lightless Sky by, by Gowali Pasterle and this is when I find it at the library or find it like on the bookstore it's said it's an adult book but it's about a 12 year old boy which fits into the middle grade age range but it's a more serious topic because as a 12 year old boy he was a refugee from Afghanistan and it's him telling his story so he has a ghostwriter too um, and him telling his story about what happened in his childhood but since it has a 12 year old person as the main character I think that it can be read by middle grade people even though it is a more serious topic you know this is classified as middle grade and it's about being a refugee so I'm still going to read this one and if I don't get to this the audiobook I want to read or listen to is Dragon Pearl by Yoon Ha Lee and I don't know much about this but Yvette from the book cave who is another one of the hosts um, I'll link her down below of course and she recommended this in her recommendations video last week and it just sounded really good she said it bends the rules because it's written very much like an epic fantasy even though it's for middle grade but she said that it gets extreme and that it's really good so it sounded interesting when she talked about it but I didn't look up the synopsis I just really enjoyed what she said about it so I got the audiobook and I'm hoping to listen to that one and then number five is reader's choice just pick a middle grade book that you've been wanting to read and I picked Red Leaves by Sita Brahmachari and this is about three different kids and Aisha is living in a foster family Zach is dealing with his parents divorce and Iona is living on the streets so all three of these kids are going through quite a bit in their lives and I don't know if they meet interact somehow their lives intertwine this was another recommendation from Kara at Wild Book Garden and I bought this like almost a year ago on her recommendation and just haven't gotten around to reading it so this is the time I really want to get to it and then if I don't get to that one the audiobook I might listen to is Echo by Pam you know Ryan I said that she would show up again and this one I just have heard so many people recommend this audiobook because I heard the audiobook is really amazing and it's about a har harmonica that like ends up kind of in three different kids hands over the years so it's historical fiction and so I think some of it's during like World War II and dif different times in, Amer in American history I believe and that just how this harmonica ends up like affecting and inter interweaving the lives of these three different characters and so I do already have this audiobook in the library and I'm hoping to listen to it because I guess they, it, the audiobook 
includes music and things like that so that's why people recommend it as the audiobook um, most recently I heard Amanda from the curly reader talk about it and how much she loved it in her middle grade recommendation video I'll link that down below because she had a lot of good recommendations um, so those are the books so I know that's like a million books I think it's 11 but <laughs> I won't get to all these books but hopefully from each prompt I will either read or listen to one of those books and really a lot of these could fill each other's categories so I my plan overall is to read five books total so of this list five of these will get read hopefully um, mostly listened to I would think but I would love to hear if you're going to participate in middle grade magic and if you've read any of these books I'd love to hear what you have to say about them thanks bye